Key Real Estate, experts in equity. Okay, this is Guernsey Street in Bel Air, Ohio. We have a three bedroom, one bath. Um, the house really isn't too bad. There's some belongings in the basement and a couple small things upstairs that, that need to be removed. Um, but overall, it's a pretty solid house. It's got a big overhang for the um, soffit. Here's your neighborhood. So that door right there goes into your basement. So to get to your basement, you do have to um, come outside. The siding still looks good. Foundation looks good. Like I said, it's got a huge overhang on the side of the house all the way around. The retaining wall here, and then you have um, some grown-in steps right here. You'll see. And there's actually a house up on up there. Um, I don't know if it's a dead end alley. I didn't go up at, that way. It looks like there's only one house. All util utilities are currently off. Um, it has a brand new furnace in it that looks good. Hot water tank doesn't look old. Um, and it's showing that we have central air. But um, as of now, with the utilities off, I don't know if that central air works. So here's the door that takes you into the kitchen. So this side door takes you into the kitchen. There's that big overhang I was talking about. I mean, siding looks good. A lot of the windows are up to date. All the brick looks good. So I normally don't start in the basement, but I figure I'm right here. So we're, we're going to start in the basement. Like I said, there's a little bit of clutter down here. Um, but not a lot. I've definitely seen way worse. A couple uh, items needed to be removed. Actually, when I was uh, here doing the video, um, someone came in and loaded a truckload of uh, items to uh, take out. So I do know they were emptying this out the day I was there. Yeah, so this is a brand new uh, Concord furnace. You'll see here, this is what I've been putting in all my rental properties. Um, and they work great. I haven't had any trouble with them, but those are the newer uh, furnaces. That's also a newer hot water tank. You can obviously tell that. Um, gas hot water tank. I'm not seeing any issues with wiring or, you know, nothing cut. Everything's here. Same with the foundation. That all looks um, good. We got mainly pecs running through this house. It's like a little tool room back here. I don't know really what it is. I said there's some belongings left here, but it's another little, little room back here. The foundation's looking really good on this one. I'm not seeing any issues. There's uh, your breaker box, which is a 200 amp panel. 
And then your gas meter is currently in the basement. Which isn't a big deal. They have shutoffs outside, so your gas meter could be inside or outside. Yeah, porches, cement, and it's looking real square. Ceilings look good. This is some funky wallpaper. Um, unless you like it, that will need to be addressed. I would say the wallpaper is pretty crazy. These um, are still the original hardwood floors. So those could probably use to be cleaned up. So we're going through the living room. Coming uh, to one, of the, one out of three bedrooms right here. All these windows are up to date. You can see the bars in them. That's for extra security. Um... But they're all up to date. Good to go. Most of them anyways. I'll have to double check if they all are done. But I remember a lot of these windows being on the newer side. Um, these floors just need cleaned up. I like when they don't paint over the old original hardwood. Usually I go in these places and they paint all these doors white. And it just all blends together. But people want this original stuff now. So here's another bedroom. Couple belongings in there. Ceilings are looking good. Now we're going to go to the third bedroom. Right here's a closet for bedroom number two. Yeah, I'm going to say all these windows have been up to date. Uh, vinyl windows, like I said, you can see the the metal inside of them, which those are nicer windows. So they just need cleaned. So that's out the back. That's where that retaining wall was and that house all the way up on the hill there. There's your closet. You got drop ceiling in here. So this is all one floor, all one level. And we're circling around. Right there was the living room we were previously in. There's some more of that crazy wallpaper. You know you love it. <laughs> so this is your... Um, this would be your dining room. So your dining room and then uh, here's your bathroom. So we do have a shower, just needs a shower curtain. Floors don't look too terrible. That can be, that needs cleaned. This won't take much besides the wallpaper and some other TLC. This probably won't need much. And now we're heading into the uh, kitchen. There's the side door we were at earlier. We didn't go through it, though. I was just showing you how to get to it. So your washer and dryer, you don't have to go in the basement. They're on, in your kitchen, on the kitchen floor. So you can do everything upstairs. You're closing that. 
Uh, just a reminder, if you want to know any information about this video, uh, click on the YouTube video description. The description always gives you any information you need to know about this property and other deals um, on the way. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, we're going to be doing this one owner financing or a cash deal for a lower price. Okay, thanks. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to see upcoming deals.